All right guys, Papa Pepper here in central Wisconsin, very, very close to where Mama Pepper spent quite a bit of her life growing up. But I wanted to show you kind of one of the things that got me started on just enjoying wild edibles. And it is right here. You see that? Look at that. That is one big, nice asparagus stalk. So this is actually walking distance from where she lived for part of her life. And we would often just walk the ditches here as many people would. I can see behind me where somebody, you know, snapped off this stalk here. This one is obviously a female. It's covered in flowers. Come a little bit later this year, that one will be covered in little red berries, which are actually poisonous. Same thing here, this is another female. But despite the berries being poisonous, um, they are full of the seeds. So I would often get a second harvest and come out and just check them out later in the year and harvest the, uh, the seeds as well, because then you can plant your own. So, I mean, to me, this is as good as anything you're getting in the store. If you look too, these are lush, lush um, ditches. This is back road stuff where people don't really spray for pesticides. You know, they don't, they don't spray the uh, herbicide, the weed killer, all along the ditches. So it's a little late in the season being about mid-June, but I didn't get up here any earlier. So as I was driving by, I was just looking at all of it. And you can pick it out pretty easy. It's pretty tall in a lot of places, but uh, the harvest is about done for the year. And now it's just kind of reaching its mature state. So I've got a yummy, tasty wild asparagus. And um, like I said, this was kind of part of what started it all, was just finding this stuff in the wild because it's quite a bit you know, in the store. So if we could come here and just pick a ton of it for free, as opposed to spending, you know, three or four bucks a handful in the store, it was very uh, time well spent and enjoyable too. So if you look behind me, I mean, this stuff is thick. It's not uncommon in the late spring to see people all over here just cruising slow, looking for this stuff. And I'm not sure about the origin of it, whether it started out, you know, domesticated and just kind of became naturalized or whether it's actually a true wild asparagus around here. But even when it gets to this stage, it's about as tall as me. You can still snap off the tip and eat that if you need to. And then this is stinging nettle. A lot of that too. This is my favorite wild edible, absolutely. I had to stop and pick a couple more. That tall one was so tasty. Love this. All right, guys, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.